Welcome to ST8101, Module 7 video. Under Modules, scroll down to the Module 7 folder and click on it. And you will see that in this case there will also be the link to the video here, but there is only one page of uh, guidelines for this entire module, and it has to do with uh, making sure that we get a first draft of our final paper done by the end of Module 7. So, to send me a complete first draft via Blackboard Messages, okay, that's a word attachment, and please be sure to implement changes suggested in our correspondence after I've read the Module 6 abstract. So I'll give you feedback on them. Please be sure to include that feedback in um, your adaptation of, you know, research materials summarized in brief abstract link. Make sure that whatever we've gone back and forth on, you try and implement that as you create this paper length investigation of your topic. <coughs> so whatever correspondence we have begun from module five, even in final paper proposals, make sure you're really clear on my suggestions to you based on what you've suggested to me so that you don't go ahead and write something that not that it isn't cleared by me so much, but that we haven't sort of signed off on together as you've been trying to create it, okay? Um, I would say as you, and this is sort of natural for expanding a, uh, from an abstract to a paper length uh, work, try to diversify and expand your source materials as well. Try and add to your MLA works cited page. Two sources are not enough ultimately for a 3,500 word paper, should go without saying. Those two sources that we've summarized already may end up being whether primary or secondary sources that you draw in heavily, but you should be de you should be drawing on as many sources as possible. So there are many sources of uh, just in the readings posted under uh, library resources, right? There are many others to be found online, other library catalogs, etc. Please try to diversify your source materials, expand on them. If you could have a dozen sources, that would be great. Even more great. Five or six, okay. Two, not enough. That's a, that. That was the way to get started. Be sure to expand as much possible. And also, um, yeah, as it says, to, to to keep the research really music centric. We are writing about uh, music of the sea from a let's let us say musicological perspective. I.e., this is not a, strictly a music uh, a th theoretical analysis course. Far from it, actually. This is really a, a, a maritime studies humanities course, right? So I'm not saying you need to analyze the melodic, harmonic, or rhythmic uh, mm -mm character of one particular shanty as a way to write a final paper about it or a, of several versions or whatever it is, but keep your general view, your research view here, uh, historical but music-centric first, and then uh, historical second, I would say. And really anything non-musical as contributing to your music research as well. The music of the C course, right? Know that the citations that you include are meant to support and clarify your own ideas and that you are not here just to compare and contrast pre-existing scholarship as I already indicated, but I want to really make sure that you are trying to formulate your own ideas based on the citations that you include in your work. You want to then try and contribute original scholarship about those uh, pre-existing sources. Okay, And so by editing your own work, by peer review, through my editing that I'll do on your uh, first drafts on these first drafts as well as on the work you've submitted already really strive to submit graduate level writing perfectly copy edited pristine in content etc um, though our online correspondence may be informal at a time at times short emails ellipses uh, etc your final papers as I've indicated should be a publishable quality so all we're doing now we're in the third of four modules five six seven eight that are really Simply de the second half of the course really is simply dedicated to you generating your final papers in a methodical way. Okay, so as usual, any larger questions about the course go in the main modules, go in the Ask the Professor discussion forum. Anything you want to ask me about directly, you can do via email and Blackboard message. And I will look forward to your first draft final papers. Wow, at the end of module seven. And note, module eight. Uh, as I indicate in its module 8 overview video, is simply you submitting a final uh, 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 
finished final proof. Okay, so that was the end of module seven. I would say, in this case, happy collating, happy writing, happy refining, happy first draft generating. Okay, good luck.